Yes, dear friends, very good evening. Now, yes, welcome to ACE Online, dear. Welcome to ACE Online. Now, coming to myself, I am Gyaneshwar. Yes, I am Gyaneshwar here. Yeah, coming to here, this is ACE Online. Yes, the subject today, the program is TS SPDCL AE. Now, revision session, dear. Revision session, complete entire control system. The my, now, my subject name is Okay, the subject, control systems, wow. Now today we are going to discuss the revision session here. Revision session of the control system. It is a beautiful subject, very interesting subject, as well as scoring subject here. Scoring subject, interesting subject. Now, okay, fine. We'll enter to the subject. SPDCL control system syllabus here. Coming to the syllabus for the SPDCL. Now we'll observe what are the syllabus content. Yes, first one, basics here. In the basics, once again, we'll discuss one by one in detail. First, we'll discuss the okay, syllabus copy. Syllabus, second chapter is block diagrams. Next chapter is, now, signal flow graph. Next chapter is, now, okay, time response analysis. Now, next chapter, Routh Arvid stability method. Yes, next one is root locus deer. Yeah, after this one, Next one is Bode plot. Here, observe. In the syllabus, copy. Yeah. Next one is Polar plot, according to syllabus. This is a Nyquist plot. Now, okay, state space analysis. The last chapter is Compensators and Controllers, dear. This is a control system syllabus, SPD is given. Now, okay, fine. Yes, first of all, my control system purpose. Sir, what is the purpose of the control system? Stability. The main thing is we need to find the stability. We are going to find the stability in the control system. Many times we are going to get the word stability, stability, stability. First, I am going to start with the stability word. What is the stability? Stability means bounded input. If you get the bounded output, that is called a stable system. What is the meaning of stable system? For bounded input, if you get the bounded output, that system is called a stable system or output is under the control of input, that system is called as stable system. Output is under the control of input, that system is called as stable system. In another words, third definition, small change in the input, there is no big change in the output, that type of systems are called as stable system. Let us, we'll discuss one simple example here. One simple example here, let us observe, there is a cone standing on the base here. Cone standing on the base, if you touch this one, small change in the input, small change in the input, there is no big change in the output. There is, no, okay, small, okay, again settle down, same position. Small change in input, there is no big change in the output, that type of system is called as a stable system, dear. Same thing to understand better way, I have taken. Now, I am taking unstable system here. Small change, if you touch this one, no need to touch, if you do, Okay, it fall down, it may break down. This type of systems are called as unstable systems. So, small change in the input, there is a big change in the output, that type of systems are called as unstable system, wow. So, at a time I am providing three here, at a time. Now, okay, observe. Yes, small change in the input, there is no big change, that is called as stable. Small change in input, there is a maybe breakdown, that is unstable. Middle, that is a marginal stable. Okay, these are the definitions of the stability. The major purpose of the control system is to find the stability. We need to start with the beginning stability word. Okay, first chapter, basics of control system. Revision session, it is a revision session. In the first chapter, basics of control system, first one we need to start with the transfer function here. Transfer function, in this one, what are the topics are here? First one, no doubt, transfer function. Transfer function formula, Laplace transform of output upon Laplace transform of input. Laplace transform of input, all initial conditions are assumed to zero. Okay, this is the formula for trans function. Second formula for the trans function, Laplace transform of impulse response dear. This is the first thing you will get in the basics of control system. Next one, we get here open loop control system, closed loop control system. Open loop control system, closed loop control system. 
Now, exam that may ask the question, the differences from the differences between the open loop and closed loop control system, especially state level exam, SPDCL. Previously, we observed in the NPDCL and the last year, okay, last previous paper of SPDCL also, there is a questions from uh, difference between the open loop system and closed loop system. Yes, open loop system and closed loop system, first thing. And uh, okay, the topic name is uh, difference between the open loop system and closed loop system. Difference between open loop system and closed loop system DL. Nicely we were discussed in the classroom. Okay, now second thing is, second one is difference between the positive feedback system and negative feedback system. That is the one thing. That is maybe expected questions. Positive feedback system, negative feedback system and uh, different between the open loop system, closed loop system. These are the questions from the basics here. These are the topics here. And one more thing, there is a topic called uh, sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity also. In the chapter, there is a topic called sensitivity also dear. In the state level exam. Now sensitivity topic also. Sensitivity for open loop system is one. That is a very high. That is a drawback. Sensitivity with respect to parameter variation for open loop system is one. So very high. Where about the closed loop system is less, less variation. That is the advantage of the closed loop system. Now we'll discuss based upon these topics, questions previously, okay, previous questions. Now, okay, nice. Now read the question. This is a very, very important. This question, not only uh, control system, common to the, okay, control system, signals and system, network theory. Three subjects common, this type of questions. This question, this model is common for three subjects, controls, Okay, signals and networks also. Okay, once read the question carefully. The unit step response, unit step means input is given, unit step response, output of the system is given what? C of t is indicated with the output. So C of t is given. C of t is given means what is the Laplace transform of C of t? C of s equal to what? Come on, tell me C of s. Apply the Laplace transform of this one. One Laplace transform is one by s. e power minus two t one upon s plus two. Take the LCM, dear. Take the LCM. After taking LCM, what happens here? S plus 2 minus S upon S into S plus 2. So here S, S cancel. S, S cancel. Now come on, response. S plus minus S cancel. That is the C of S equal to 2 upon S into S plus 2. Now what is the input is given? Input is given unit step input. Unit step input means what? R of S equal to what? Come on, tell me 1 by S. Now trans function equal to already we know. Trans function equal to Laplace transform of output upon Laplace transform of input. Now C of S equal to what command tell me? 2 upon S into S plus 2 upon 1 upon S. Now S is going to cancel, very simple. S is going to cancel. The trans function equal to 2 by S plus 2. What is the best suitable option here command tell me? What is the best suitable option? 2 upon S plus 2. This model questions are common to both signals and controls as well as network also, okay, no? Yes, trans function of the system, generally trans function. Now, this is a model deal. Output upon input here, output upon input, okay. Now, next to in this chapter, in the basics of control system, what is the other question here? Negative feedback in a closed loop control system does not. So, does not means so out of four options, three are the properties of negative feedback system. But one is not a property of negative feedback system. So what are the, okay, select the best suitable answer here. Yes, negative feedback system reduce the overall gain. Yes, correct, dear. That is the correct only. Why? Because in the open loop system, open loop system gain is what? Open loop system gain is G. Negative feedback system gain is closed loop system gain. That is a negative feedback system gain is G upon 1 plus G. As compared to numerator, denominator part is less. So in the closed loop system, gain is reduces. This is a correct statement, okay? Correct statement only. Now improve the disturbance reduction. As compared to open loop, closed loop system disturbance is less only. Disturbance less only, correct statement. Reduce the sensitivity to parameter variation. In the closed loop system, parameter variation is less as compared to open loop system, correct statement only. But reduce the bandwidth. Dear students, in the closed loop system, gain decreases. But we have the standard formula. There is a gain bandwidth product is constant. Gain bandwidth product is constant here. So gain bandwidth product constant means so. Now tell me here, gain is decreasing. To maintain the constant, bandwidth should increase this only. To maintain the constant, gain is decreasing here. So to maintain the constant, bandwidth should increase. So in the negative feedback system, increases the bandwidth. 
but reduces the bandwidth is given, but uh, okay, increases bandwidth is correct. Increases bandwidth is asking increases bandwidth. Examiner is asking which is or does not. You are careful. Does not is asking. Does not. So does not means so this reduce the okay bandwidth is wrong answer. Remaining three are the properties of negative feedback system, but one is not a property of negative feedback system. So obviously option B is correct answer. This is also one of the previous question. Okay na? Yes. Once again, one more question we'll discuss. Yeah. This is also now the open loop DC gain of a unity feedback system. Closed loop trans function is given. Examiner was given closed loop trans function, but is asking open loop trans function. Now first of all, find out the open loop trans function. Yes, what is the open loop trans function? Come on, tell me here. Open loop trans function. Add, okay, subtract numerator and the denominator. What are the term is there simple technique here? This term subtract here. While moving close open loop to closed loop, add, but reverse. I am moving closed loop to open loop. Examiner was given closed loop. Examiner was given closed loop. I am finding open loop. So simple that numerator term subtract here. So s square plus 7s plus 13. So numerate term subtract here. I am using different color here. Numerate term minus s minus 4 here. So what is the answer you will get? Come on. Yes. S plus 4. S square as it is. 7s minus s plus 6s. 13 minus 4 plus 9. Here examiner is asking what is the question here? DC gain here. For DC already we were studied. Okay. We have studied. For DC frequency equal to 0. For DC, frequency equal to 0. Frequency 0 means, here tell me, frequency 0 for DC. Frequency means, okay, omega equal to what? 2 pi f. Omega also 0. S equal to in control system, we select j omega. So, S also 0 here. So, wherever S is there, substitute simple S equal to 0 here. Wherever S is there, substitute S equal to 0. So, after substituting S equal to 0, the correct answer is 4 by 9. Now, 4 by 9 is correct answer here. So here, best suitable answer here, 4 by 9 is perfect answer. Now, see the options here. What are the options are given here? 4 by 9 is perfect answer here. This is also one of the state level exam here. Now, yes, this is also expected question. Revision point of view. Yeah, these are the different, different models I have selected. Trans function, finding trans function, and comparison to the open loop, closed loop system, and also DC gain. These are the topics present in the Basics of control system here. Basics of control system. Next, block diagrams. Block diagram chapter, actually, we have only one technique, one formula. If you use a Marsons gain formula, then only Marsons gain formula. By using Marsons gain, we can complete the block diagram and next chapter signal flow graph also here. So, I will select one question, then I will teach the what is the block di Marsons gain formula here. Now, okay, fine. In the block diagrams, there are rules are there, block diagram reduction rules. Block diagram reduction rules, after studying block diagram reduction rules, directly problems, numerical. The major purpose of the block diagram is to find the overall gain of the system. To find the overall gain of the system. Now, okay, nice. This is a question here. This is a question, wow. The block diagram of a control system is shown in figure. The trans function y of s by x of s is, okay, no? now come on, find out. If I already attended, now I'll check your, okay, live. If any doubt, you can post me here. Yes, if you have any doubts also, you can post me in the live. Yes, dear. Now, okay, fine. Wow, good. Students are providing very good. Okay, fine. Now, yes. Yes, dear, come on, tell me this answer here. This answer, tell me. Yes. Now, okay, I am checking your, okay. Yeah, fine. So, okay, good. Students are providing answers here. Now, I am going to teach this one same thing by using Marsons gain formula. How to teach the by using Marsons gain formula here? First one, y of s by x of s here. y of s by x of s equal to, according to Marsons gain formula, forward path gain here. We have to write the forward path gain. Forward path gain while moving from input to output, the forward path gain here observe, G1 is there. So we have to write G1 here. Forward path gain is G1. One more forward path is there, whether you observe or not. Input to output, we can move like this also. If you move like this, you will get the G2 here. If you move like this, you will get the G2 here. Yes, correct. Plus G2. 
Okay, forward paths are completed. Input to output that is called as a forward paths. Yes. Any loops are there? Any loops are there? Starting point, ending point is same. If you move like this, this is a loop here. But while moving loop, this sign is their opposite sign. So take 1 plus G1 H dear. G1 H, this is also one of the previous question. Now G1 plus G2 by 1 plus G1 H. So option A is best suitable. Many students are given, many students are given. Very good, very good. Okay, dear. Now, yes, any block diagram question, you have to follow same thing only. Forward paths, forward paths by denominator, loops only, dear. Loops only. This is the questions you can expect in the block diagram. This is a course is a mainly revision course, dear. All chapter, all models I have to touch here. So in the block diagram, this is one model here. Within one hour, I have to cover all chapters, all different, all models here. Previous questions, including. In the block diagram, you can expect this type of question here. Next, one more chapter, signal flow graph. Here, we can use the Marsons gain, signal flow graph, as well as block diagram. Same technique only. Now, the purpose of the signal flow graph. Signal flow graph, here you may expect the question, what is the... Uh, Different between the block diagram and signal flow graph. This is applicable only for linear system here. Hello, note down. Here, this is applicable only for linear system here. Signal flow graph is applicable only for linear system. Linear system. Whereas block diagram is applicable for both linear and non-linear. That is a one basic difference here. Once more, this is applicable for linear. Where about the block diagram? Both linear as well as non-linear. Now. Okay, purpose of the both block diagram and signal flow graph is to find the overall gain or trans function of the system. Okay, fine. Okay, one of the question here, signal flow graph is used to find. By using signal flow graph, what we can find here? Mm, now tell me, stability of the system, no. To find the stability, we use the Rao Tarvidju, root locus, Bode plot, Nyquist plot, no. Controllability of the system, controllability is related to the okay, state space. Poles of the system, no, trans function is there, okay. Trans function of the system is yes. now signal flow graph both block diagram purposes to find the trans function of the system. Correct option is C. Okay, this is a state level exam question. Now, <coughs> okay, fine. To solve this question, uh, signal flow graph already I provided in the classroom. Once again, observe here. Once again, observe here. Overall gain equal to this is a shortcut here. Forward path gain. This is nothing but I compressed the Marsons gains in this format here. Marsons gain formula, I compress it in this format here. Okay, you can note down this way, this one format. Yes, dear. Overall gain equal to sum of forward path gains. Now, upon one plus individual loop gains, while writing individual loop gains, dear, we have to write the opposite sign. While writing two non-touching loop. For odd numbers, you have to take the opposite sign. For even number, you have to take the same sign here. Yes, by using this formula, you can find the signal flow graph problems here. Okay, now, you can note down here. Yes, you have one problem here. This is uh, your examination related. Yes, here, come on, tell me here. Uh, easily you'll find the question. Y by x equal to. Along with me, you can solve. Come on, take the pen and paper. Come on, along with me, solve this one. Here, forward path gain by using this technique, dear. By using this technique, for sum of forward path gains here. Sum of forward path gains. Forward path gain means input to output. While moving input to output, what are the forward path gains here? 5 product of 2 product of 1. 5 into 2, 10 only. 5 product of 2 into 10. So what I am writing? 5 into 2. 5 product of 2. Uh, loops tell me. What is the loops here? From year to year, one loop is there. Na? So the formality 1 plus compulsory. Opposite minus sign is there means we have to take opposite sign. 2 into 2 dear. 2 into 2. So okay, fine. First forward path, the forward path passing through the loop. If it is passing through loop means this bracket term is 1 only. This bracket term 1 only. So 5 into 2, 10 upon 2 into 2, 4 plus 1, 5. 10 by 5 is nothing but 2 dear. So best suitable answer is 2 is perfect answer. This type of question you can expect here. Why? Because within 2 hours you have tried the all the all subjects. So they lost this type of models here. This is a previous collected model. Okay, fine. And in the signal flow graph, you may expect, they will give the one signal flow graph, like how many number of forward paths, how many number of individual loops, how many number of two not touching loops. This is also expected question here. This is also expected question. Okay, fine. Now, nice. Yeah, fine. Now, coming to the time response, it is a big chapter here. It is a big chapter. So, what are the main topics here? What are the main topics here? Now, we will observe. First one, you have to find out 
What is a transient response? What is a steady state response? Definition. Transient response, steady state response. And after transient response, steady state response, here you have to discuss type and order of the system there. Type means number of poles present at origin. Type means number of poles present at origin here. And order, maximum number of S power. Maximum number of S power. Either numerator and denominator, which is a maximum that is called as order here. Now, after type and order, then we need to go for the, in second order system, we have the undamped system, zeta, based upon the zeta. If the zeta equal to 0, undamped system, zeta in between 0 and 1, underdamped system, equal to 1, critical damped, greater than 1 means overdamped system here. So, okay, after the classification of the second order system, later time domain specifications here, time domain specifications for underdamped system, time domain specifications here, the topic name. Time domain specifications. In the time domain specifications, exam that you may expect this type of questions here. So, what are the questions? Okay, here. Yes, first one delay time, dear. Delay time, T suffix D, rise time, formula you have to note down. And okay, peak time and percentage of MP as well as time constant, comma, settling time. In the previous experience, previous paper analysis, the examiner was asked settling time many times here. Settling times asked many times. Out of this one, so settling time question was asked in the SPDCL, NPDCL, like Genco Transco level. So state level exam, settling time was asked as compared. That doesn't mean that remaining are not going to ask, you may expect. But this question, this settling time was asked many times. Okay, that is about the, now, later after this one, there is a concept called dominant pole concept here. Dominant pole, dominant pole. Now we need to neglect the far, okay, from the imagery, okay, which is more distant, that is uh, we need to neglect dominant pole. Later, we are going to discuss the steady state error. Wow, nice. Steady state error for general formula I gave and also step input, ramp input, parabolic input. We are going to find the steady state error. Most, most important here. As compared to all this one, I can say this is a five star topic here. In the, your examination, on this topic, okay, questions are asking. Now, okay, find here. Steady state refer, here I am writing. Yes, step input. Step input, what is the formula here? For step input, 1 by 1 plus Kp dear. Kp means position error constant. And for ramp input, okay, 1 by Kv formula. For parabolic input, parabolic input, 1 by Ka dear. So, okay, I given Kp, Kv, Ka formulas also. This is the most important, okay, many questions are giving on the steady state error. Okay, fine. This is about the time response analysis. We'll discuss some of the questions here. Yes. For a second order system, the damping ratio, this zeta is between 0, okay, in between 0 and 1. Then the roots of the characteristic equation roots are, hello, this is the uh, zeta is in between 0 and 1. No doubt it is an undamped system. So the roots are, what is the roots of this one? Yes. Now come on. Yes, I am going to expect the question from you. Okay, the answer command here. Solve this question. Yes, easy. This is easy here. Yeah, very good. What a response from the students. What a response from the students, dear. Now, okay. What a response from the students. Yes, come on. What is the answer for this one? Yes. Just, hello, dear. It is an underdamped system means you just, okay, you given direct answer, but I have to explain clearly. For underdamped system, Zeta means underdamped system, underdamped system roots are, underdamped system roots are complex conjugate here. Complex conjugate, underdamped system roots are complex conjugate, very, very, very important. Conjugate. Okay. Where about, I am going to explain complex conjugate here. Real and equal, this question, this is for what system real and equal? For critical damped, when zeta equal to 1, this answer here. But zeta is not equal to 1. Real but not equal, this is an overdamped system, zeta greater than 1. Imaginary means zeta equal to 0. When zeta equal to 0, poles are on the imaginary. When zeta equal to 1, real and equal, zeta greater than 1, real but not equal. Okay, for underdamped system, complex conjugate. From this one you can learn, okay, complete second order classification completed in this question. We'll go for the next question, yes, wow. Consider a unity feedback system with open loop trans function, g of s is given. K by S and S plus 1. Now, examiner is asking, 
the steady state error of the system due to unit step input. What are the answers here? Okay, no? Yeah, wow. These are the options here. Here, sometimes they ask the steady state error coefficient. Steady state coefficient. Here, error is asking for unit step input here. What is the formula here? Formula for unit step input. For unit step, question is given for what command? Tell me. Unit step is given. Unit step is given. For unit step, what is the formula? S for unit step input. It is a revision course. Revision course. Now, 1 upon 1 plus Kp dear. 1 upon 1 plus Kp. What is the Kp formula? What is the Kp formula? Come on. Kp equal to limit S tends to 0. Okay, G of S into H of S. Yes, speed accuracy is required. Come on, solve this question. Now, K upon S into S plus 1 dear. Now, if you substitute wherever this is there, if you substitute wherever this is there, in the place of S, if you substitute 0, something by 0, what happens? Come on, tell me, infinity. Error coefficient. Examiner is asking error or error coefficient. If the error coefficient means infinity is correct, yeah, infinite option also given. But examiner is asking error dear. Steady state error. Steady state error means substitute in the first equation. The infinity 1 plus kp. 1 by infinity means 1 by infinity equal to 0 is perfect answer. Option A is correct answer. Whether examiner is asking error or coefficient. Coefficient means kp is correct answer. Error constants. This kp is called as a error constant here. This is called as a kp is called as error constant here. The examiner is asking error constant means infinity is correct. Error means 0 is correct answer. And also unit step means this is a formula. For unit ram means 1 by kv. For unit parabolic means 1 by ka. Okay. Now next one. The unit impulse response of the system is this one. For the system steady state value of the output for unit step input is. Very, 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 very important model here. Okay. Steady state output. Steady state error is different. Steady state output here. I am writing. Steady state value. The steady state value means steady state output. What is the steady state output formula here? Steady state value or steady state output. Steady state value or steady state output equal to limit S tends to 0. S into C of S. This is a formula here. At steady state, now S tends to, okay, at steady state, the output value. At steady state, steady state means T tends to infinity. Maximum time. T tends to infinity means if we convert by using final value theorem, S tends to 0, S into C of S. Our duty to find the C of S here. But examiner is given here in the question paper, impulse response is given. Impulse response is given. What is the impulse response? E power minus T. From impulse response, we will find the transfer function. What is the transfer function equal to? C of S upon R of S equal to Laplace transform of impulse response here. Come on, tell me Laplace transform of impulse response is how much? E to the power of minus T. So that answer is 1 upon S plus 1. But I want only C of S here. From equation number 1, here, C equal to what? Come on, tell me. 1 upon S plus 1 product of R. What is the input here? What input is given? Yes, for the system, for unit step input, for unit step input is given. For unit step input is given. Unit step input means, so, what is the R of S? Come on, tell me. Unit step input, R of S equal to 1 by S. In the place of R, substitute 1 by S. 1, okay, 1 upon S plus 1 product of S here. Substitute this one in equation 1. Substitute this, this one in equation 1. Now, come on, tell me steady state value or steady state output equal to limit S tends to 0 S into C of S value. C of S value, I am writing the bracket here. Now, note down. Yes, 1 upon S plus 1 product of S here. So, if you cancel this one, if you cancel this one, yes, S cancel. Wherever S is there, S equal to 0. So, later, what is the answer? You will get command of steady state output equal to 1 is perfect answer. So, option C is best suitable answer. Now, okay. Yes, when the steady state value is asking, steady state value means at steady state, what is the output value? What is the output at steady state? Steady state means maximum time. Maximum time means T tends to infinity. T tends to infinity difficulty, so we use the final value theorem. Then S tends to 0, dear. This is one of the best question, dear. One of the best model, not best question, best model, okay? Many times so you can see in the previous papers here. So this model, this is steady state output. We were discussing about the, what are the topics here? Steady state error question completed here, steady state output here, you can explain. 
And one more topic here, dominant pole concept here. Now I'll provide the one dominant pole concept. Come on, find out the answer. Okay, fine. The transfer function of the plant is this one. The second order approximation using dominant pole concept here. Yes, it is a third order here. Here one okay after third order convert into second order. So which is the best suitable answer? You have to use the dominant pole concept. Come on, uh, use the dominant pole concept. It is a simple concept. Come on. Yes, this is also expected question here. Yes. Now good. Okay, very good. Yes, fine, fine. Yes, dear, correct, correct. Yes, dominant pole concept here I am using here. Now first thing here the roots here. What are the roots of this one? Roots of this one find out. Then you will get S equal to minus 0.5 plus or minus J root 3 by 2 dear. These are the roots. Now if you indicate on the okay, uh, plane here. Yes, on S plane I am indicating. If you indicate on S plane. Okay, fine. Here S equal to minus 0.5 minus 0.5 is a minus 0.5 here and plus or minus root 3 by 2j and one more root s yes, minus root 3 by 2j yes one more pole s is equal to minus 5 here this pole is called as a insignificant pole here this pole is called as insignificant pole insignificant pole means we need to neglect this one but before neglecting that neglecting term should be converted into time constant format. So we are decided to neglect this term. So before neglecting convert into time constant format here, time constant format here. So what is the time constant format? Come on tell me 1 plus s t term. 1 plus s t term means so, now take the phi common. Phi common that the term which is neglected that term we have got to convert 1 plus s by phi then remaining as it is only remaining term as it is only s square s plus 1. Now after converting, come on, yes, this phi phi cancel, this term is neglected, neglect. So correct suitable answer is 1 by s square plus s plus 1, that is our dominant concept here. In the time response, dominant concept, by using dominant concept to this pole is neglected, but before neglecting, this convert into time constant format here. Why? Because after converting, before converting, the gain should be same only, okay, DC gain, okay, nice dear. Yes, this is about the time response analysis. This is all about the time response analysis. Yeah, nice. Next, stability analysis using Rauth Harvitz here. Next chapter, stability. From here onwards, stability starts here. Stability starts here. Now, yeah, okay. RH method. Yes, these are the, now. According to RH stability criteria, which of the following statement is correct? For stability, is asking stability. For stability, which of the following statement is correct? Roots are in the right of S plane. If the roots are in the right of S plane, that system is called as a that system is called as an unstable system. But examiner is asking for stability condition, so option A is wrong answer. Okay, we'll observe uh, option C. Roots are in the right of S plane. Roots right of S plane means so right of S plane means so the system is unstable. So option C also wrong option here. Roots are in the left top of S plane and on imaginary axis. When the roots are on the imaginary and the left side, both combination, then that system is called as a marginal stable. But examiner is asking for stability condition. So three options are eliminated here. So obviously roots are in the left of S plane. It is a condition for stability here. This is also given one of the previous question here. So with this one, I covered the what is a condition for stability. Okay, fine. Yes. By using Rao Tharavids, how to find the stability, okay, stability. Now, what is the stability condition here? Simple, hello dear. Now, for stability, all the first column elements should have the same sign here. Now, I am finding S power 3, S square, come on, S power 1, S power 0, dear. Coefficients are S power 3, 1, then alternate to C, then no element 0, then B, now 1, 0, dear. Yes, multiply this to BC product minus 1. BC minus 1 by B, 0, this is a 1. So, okay, for stability, what is the question is given? Okay, now, all are positive coefficients here. This is already plus, this is a positive coefficient, it is also plus. For stability, this should be greater than 0. For stability, 
for stability okay is given all or okay, b c minus 1 should be greater than 0 so b c must be greater than 1 no doubt option b is perfect answer or one technique here what is the technique here this is a regular method this is a technique here this two product internal product must be greater than the this external 1 into 1 this two greater than so why what we can write here this b c internal product b into c greater than the that final okay uh, end terms 1 into 1 that is simple technique condition for stability now one more question here the closed loop transfunction examiner was given closed loop transfunction only is asking the system is now okay what is the system here without touching pen and paper you can write you can use the rh method or this internal term 18 to 19 greater than the 1 into 12 here 18 to 19 greater than the this one so no doubt answer is stable only without touching pen and paper we can tell the answer so next we are discussing the root locus here in the root locus what topics we will get so the root locus chapter now rules here construction rules you may get the previous paper analysis construction rules construction rules means you will find the uh, examiner is asking centroid find the centroid here okay expected centroid centroid formula here centroid formula equal to sum of poles minus sum of zeros upon number of poles minus number of zeros this is a formula after centroid there is the angular asymptote here angular asymptote formula also there 2 cube plus 1 upon p minus z product of 180 degrees okay angular asymptotes then centroid after finding the centroid examiner is asking number of root locus branches and number of root locus branches which are approaching to the infinity number of root locus branches which are approaching to infinity is equal to formula n equal to p minus z number of root locus branches which are approaching to infinity is formula n equal to p minus z then break point break away point break in point later intersection point of root locus with imaginary axis that is a one rule and angle of departure angle of arrival from each rule one one mark questions dear now we will discuss some of the okay uh, yes find the angle of asymptote centroid for this question here i am using the step number one here step number one here step number one now tell me for this one for this one root locus yes what are the zeros here mm. help me zeros here zeros means no zeros are present no zeros are present but poles are at origin there is a pole is there s equal to 0 there is a pole is there minus 5 there is a pole is there minus 10 also pole is there so now finally what you can write number of zeros are 0 number of poles are 3 dear next to uh, now here we can tell that number of root locus branches number of root locus branches the topic number of how I many number of root locus branches examiner may ask number of root locus branches equal to maximum of which is the maximum that is the answer maximum of pole comma zero out of pole comma zero which is the maximum that is the correct answer the formula number of root locus branches for this given question how many number of root locus branches you will get that equal to maximum of pole comma zero here pole is greater so number of root locus branches answer is 3 dear then later okay one more rule here step number two i am moving number of root locus branches which are approaching to infinity that is called as the number of asymptotes p minus 3 so this many root locus branches which are approaching to the infinity examiner may ask number of root locus branches which are approaching to infinity this type of question also asking previously now later uh, after this one step number three dear now angle of asymptote okay na? Uh, angle of asymptotes angle of asymptote when n equal to 3 means that angle of asymptote if you use the formula we will get 60 180 300 300 other name is minus 60 degrees so when n equal to 3 yes now later dear uh, what is the formula for a centroid centroid means step number four here step number four examiner is asking centroid no? yeah centroid centroid means sum of poles minus sum of zero formula upon number of poles minus number of zero dear so if you add poles minus 5 minus 15 minus 15 by 3 so minus 5 you will get dear this is all about the now okay uh, different rules about this one you can find the break point and send uh, intersection point with imaginary also dear yes now here there is a question here previous question there are three zeros here examiner was given there are three zeros here zeros are three and poles are two now there will be how many root loci 
root locus means the plural of the locus. How many uh, number of root locus branches? Number of root locus branches. Number of root locus branches. Just now we were discussed here. Number of this is a previous question of state level. That is a number of root locus branches equal to maximum of pole comma zero dear, which is a maximum. That is a correct answer. Here zero is a maximum. So correct answer is three dear. Your answer is your answer is three dear, which is a maximum. So three perfect answer is option A. So this is a two. This is a two. What is the correct answer, sir? Means two only. If both are two, two means two is correct answer. Both are equal means one of the correct answer. Okay, now one you can select. Which is a greater that value you can select. This is a question you are asking. Now okay, a unity feedback system as open loop trans function. The root locus plot intersect the imaginary axis. The root locus plot intersection with the imaginary axis. So what to do? We can find the regular method here, procedure. Procedure here. First, to find the procedure. Steps. Find the auxiliary equation. Means to find the characteristic equation after characteristic equation. Now arrange in the Routh Arvind method. Then one complete row should be zero. Auxiliary equation. Roots of auxiliary equation will give us the. Okay, roots of intersection with the IP. That is a regular method here. It takes time. Simple method here. Simple method. Here one technique here, when the trans function is k by s into s plus a, s plus b, then intersection point equal to i p equal to already we were discussed in the classroom square root of a into b dear. Here a equal to four, b equal to sixteen. So four product of sixteen, so sixty four square root of sixteen equal to a two. So intersection point with imaginary imaginary means j compulsory. So a two option c is correct answer dear. Option C is correct answer. That is a one method. And second method, write the auxiliary equation. Use the RH method. This is a one method. We were discussed nicely this method. Okay, this is a one rule here. We make okay. This is a previous question of your state level exam. Okay, TSPSC. Now next to Bode plot here. In Bode plot, the main question they are asking the they are asking here only here first thing inverse Bode plot. The questions why because one mark no it is inverse Bode plot. They never ask the word. Draw the body plot. Draw the body plot means time-consuming. You have maximum one or two minutes only. So they are asking on the topic of inverse body plot. The examiner is going to give the body plot. They are ask. They are going to ask the trans function corresponding to the body plot here. They will provide the question and answer sir trans function option A, B, C, D. Select the correct answer. So inverse body plot. That is the one topic. And what are the rules of the inverse body plot? Once read it here. Yes. Here, nicely I given. If initial slope is, if initial slope increases, then S term present in the numerator dear. Okay, good. If initial slope decreases, means S term present in the denominator. If initial slope is constant, there is no S term in the numerator and denominator. That is a topic. Okay, na? Yeah. After inverse body plot, then you need to find the gain margin and phase margin dear. This is also one question. They will ask the gain cross over frequency, phase cross over frequency. Okay, these are the topics they are asking mainly concentrating. Now, inverse body plot, gain margin, phase margin. These are the topics they are asking. Now, we will discuss some questions here. Yes, the trans function of the minimum phase system whose magnitude plot is given in figure. Now, he is asking inverse body plot related trans function. Try to eliminate the options here. Come on. Yes, these are the options dear. These are the options dear. Come on. Try to find out. I'll give the time. One minute time. Yes, I'll check the your answers here. In the live only, I am going to check here. Yes, in the live, I am going to check here. Yes, dear, I am going to check here live. Yes, yes, I am checking. Yes, dear, correct, 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 correct. Yes, you are right. Wow. Correct, correct answers, dear. Correct answers, dear. Yes, uh, one student gave the option. Uh, yes, Bhushan, you gave option B. We'll check it, dear. We'll check it. Now, okay. But many people are giving response. Now, what is the correct answer? We'll discuss, dear. The simple technique, dear, without touching pen and paper. Now, your state level exam questions. Initial slope is decreasing, dear. This initial slope is decreasing here. 
decreasing means there should be s term present in the denominator. Initial slope decreases means s term present in the denominator. One check it here. One check it here. If initial slope decreases means s term present in the where command tell me denominator. So denominator s term should be present in the denominator. But here in the option A s term present in the numerator means option A is wrong answer. So okay option A is wrong answer. Again at a two corner frequency tell me at a two okay at corner frequency of two what is the net slope equal to? The net slope equal to it is a zero dB zero minus of minus. 0 minus of minus plus 20. Plus 20 means two terms should be present in the numerator. Plus term means two terms should be present in the numerator. Two term present in the numerator, correct. But two term present in the denominator because of present in the denominator, option D is wrong. Again, still option B and C are in the race. Now, again, I am asking here, uh, let us, what is the net slope at 10 year? That will decide the option here. Net slope at 10 year. At 10, uh, now, Present slope 20, previous slope 0. So again, you will get the plus. So 10th term should also present in the numerator only. But in the option C, 10th term is given the denominator. So option C also wrong here. By closing your eyes, you can select the option. B is perfect answer. That is attacking style. Okay, inverse body plot. This is the attacking style of the body plot here. Yeah, you will expect in the state level, this is the maximum level here. Yeah, this is the one type of question. Next to one more model, gain margin here. To find the gain margin, you need to find the pace cross or frequency, the method is. So I will teach in different method. The processor is here, the processor, first processor here, what is the processor? First find step number one, pace cross or frequency. Second method, use the formula gain margin equal to reciprocal of the magnitude at omega equal to omega pc, but time consuming, this is a time consuming. Now one more method I am telling, one more method here. What is the gain margin equal to k maximum by k given? k maximum is nothing but k marginal value. k marginal value. k given means in the numerator what is the constant is given that is a k given here. k given is a that is a constant. k given is 1. k maximum you can find out by using Rao Tharvitz method. For what value of k it will become the complete row should be 0. Marginal stability. For what value of k, okay, maximum means marginal stability, that is a k marginal, k marginal. For what value of k, complete row of the RH method is 0. Find out, that is a using RH method. One more technique I am telling here, uh, now either observe, this 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 product of 2 into 1. So what is a 2 plus 1 means 3 product of 2, 6 here. So the k marginal value 6, k given value answer 1 no. So correct option is 6 is perfect answer here. You can solve by using this in the classroom, okay, pace cross or frequency, gain margin formula, or another one, k maximum by k given. k maximum is nothing but k marginal. How to find here? Form the RH method, router which method, one all complete row should be 0 here. For what value of k, complete row should be 0, no doubt 6 only will get. No, no, sir, I want directly means to this 2 plus 1 into 2 into 1 here. Okay, fine. Now this is a gain margin formula here. Yes, which of the following is a trans function is a non-minimum pace system. Non-minimum pace system means one zero should present in the right side. Yes, non-minimum pace system, yeah. Here zero present in the left side, wrong option. Zeros are present in the right, left side, wrong option. Zeros are present in the right side, okay, sorry, left side, wrong option. But S minus one, minus term is there. S minus one equal to zero means S equal to plus one. Zero is present in the right side. Here 0 present at right side, non-minimum pace system means 0 should present at right side. 0 at right side here, 0 present at right side. So best suitable option is option D is correct answer. So minimum pace system, non-minimum pace system. Minimum pace system means all poles and 0 should be left side. Non-minimum means at least one 0 present at the right side. All pass system means same, like non-minimum only, 0 at right side, pole at left side, but both are symmetrical with respect to real axis. Okay. Then Nyquist plot, okay, this is a Nyquist plot. Here the question may ask, what are the types of question they may ask here? Yes. Number of encirclement with respect to origin they will ask. Number of encirclement with respect to minus 1 plus J0 also they will ask. Now we will discuss one question here. Yes. The polar plot of the trans function is given. So it intersects. 
real axis intersect or imaginary axis intersect or both will intersect, neither. Now come and try to solve this question. The polar plot of a system now is given, yeah, which is the best suitable option here, which is the best suitable option, come and select, which is the best suitable option here. Now, 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 which is the best suitable option here, come on, tell me. Yes, I am taking, this is a trans function, no doubt here, this is a trans function of what type here? It is a type 1 order 2 here, type means number of poles here, it is a type of 1 here, it is a type equal to 1 here, this trans function is type is 1, number of maximum stem is 2 only, stems order 2, number of stems are 2. So one technique here, polar plot started type here, polar plot started type and ends at order, that, okay, now, yes, I am, I am going to write the polar plot here. Polar plot starts at type and polar plot ends at order here. So with that one, now what is the type, what is the order here, here, this is the method. Yes, what is the type 1? Type 1 system start here parallel to the minus 90. Type 1 system start parallel to the minus 90. So the plot should start parallel to the minus 90 here. Where it ends, it is order 2. Order 2 is ending, where come on, tell me, here order 2 is ending. Order to ending means your plot will end here only. The plot is going to end here only. This is a polar plot here. Now tell me, is it polar plot is crossing uh, this real axis? No. Is it polar plot is crossing imaginary? No. No, no, no. So polar plot is not crossing the real and imaginary. So the best suitable answer, it is not going to intersect. Neither the real axis nor the imaginary axis is option A is correct answer. Once again read the question. The polar plot of the trans function intersect apart from the origin. So what a beautiful answer here. Now, yes, it is a type 1 order 2. So it is not intersecting real axis. It is not intersecting the imaginary axis except origin. This is a method here. Okay, fine. Then later we have to discuss. Yeah, fine. Okay, one more question, one more model here. This is an Nyquist plot is given. Number of encirclement with respect to origin here. With respect to origin is asking. Examiner may ask with respect to minus 1 plus G0 or with respect to origin also. So for this one, I am providing the formula. Both formulas I am providing here. Now observe. Beautifully I am covering. Yes. Nyquist stability criterion for open loop system. This is with respect to number of encirclement with respect to origin. P minus Z. What is the P and what is the Z here? Okay. N equal number of encirclement of in okay, origin. And P equal to number of open loop poles at right side. Z equal to number of open loop zeros at right side. It's the same formula if the number of encirclement with respect to minus 1 plus J0, closed loop system stability. This formula is used for closed loop system stability. Now, here N equal to number of encirclement with respect to minus 1 plus 0. P equal to same only, previous one only, P equal to, but Z equal to here 0, so, but here poles here. Z equal to number of closed loop right side poles here. That is the only difference here. Z equal to number of closed loop poles right side. So, here Z, here Z difference here. Generally, z means zeros only, z means zeros only, but when the encirclement with respect to minus 1 plus j0, the formula is z means poles dear, that is the difference, only one, last z is different. But what is the question here? Is asking number of encirclement with respect to origin here. Origin means what formula required, this formula is required. So I am writing here, I am writing, yes, number of open loop poles at right side, s plus 2, either observe or let us. Yes, plus, okay, s plus 2 equal to 0 means s equal to minus 2 will get, s equal to minus 3 will get and plus 1, 1 pole here. Number of open loop poles at right side, how many number of open loop poles at right side, 1, number of zeros at right side, how many, 0. So substitute here formula, so number of encirclement with respect to origin equal to p minus z, p minus z equal to 1 minus 0, 1 is correct answer here. So perfect answer is 1 dear, 1 is perfect answer. It encirclements, 1 is correct answer dear, wow. Many people are giving the response, yes. I am checking your answer, how many people are, okay. Yes dear, correct, correct. <coughs> yes, very good, very good. Yes. Now, we will discuss one more question dear. Compensators and controllers. Compensators and controllers. There is a time limit. Okay, now, okay, compensators. Now, in the compensator, very important model here. When PD controller is used in a system, which of the following is affected? Which of the following is affected? Out of four options, 
okay, remaining three are not affected, but one is affected. Which is going to affect? That answer is asking. Three options, if you use a PD controller, three of the parameter are not going to change, only one parameter changes. So in the classroom, very nicely I given, once again I am providing beautifully a PD controller, effects of PD controller. Wow, super. Effects of PD controller here. No effect on the type of the system. Type is not going to change, study state also remain unchanged. So study state also remain unchanged here. So okay. Type of the system, no change, no change here. This is a no change, no change, not going to affect. Okay, study state also no change, no effect, no effect. Now, once again observe here. Yes. Now, here, uh, no effect on omega n. Omega n is natural frequency. Natural frequency also no effect here. No effect here, natural frequency also no effect. But here, zeta value changes here. Zeta value changes here. There observe, zeta value. Now, observe the, uh, yes, third point here. If zeta value increases, mean changing is there. Either increase or decrease, changes is there. So, zeta value changes. So, correct option is, uh, option B is perfect answer. It is changes. When we use the PD controller, best suitable answer is the damping ratio changes here. So, he's asking changing the option. So, which of the parameter is going to change? So, damping ratio changes here. Yeah, good. Now, one more question we'll use. Yes, it's a very important model. So, trans function is given. S plus A and S plus B lag compensator is given. This is a lead compensator. It is a lead compensator. Lead compensator. When it is become lead compensator, this numerate term should be less than denominator. Then it is act as a lead. It is given lag compensator. When it is become lag compensator, come on, tell me, numerate term greater than the denominator. So, it is asking conditions to become lead and lag. So, you know, best suitable options here. No doubt, this is a very, okay, very repeated question. In the classroom, I gave this question seven star, generally five star only, but seven star this question. Now, okay, very important model here. Numerator term less means lead compensator, numerator greater means lack compensator. So, best suitable option is A is correct answer here. Yeah, which of the following compensator is used to increase the speed of the system? Which of the following, to increase the speed, which compensator we need to use? Lead or lag? or lead lag, so only speed, none of the above. So what are the, okay, lead compensator? Now we'll observe, these are the wow, wow, super. Lead compensators here. Lead compensator, these are the effects of lead compensator. Effects of lead compensator. Lead compensator, if you use, it improves the speed of the system here. It improves the speed of the system. So no doubt, which of the following will improve the speed of the system? Which of the following will improve the speed of the system? No doubt, lead compensator is correct answer. Once again, check it here. Effects of lead compensator, you can note down nicely. Correct option is A is perfect answer. Yes, last chapter, dear. It is a time for the last chapter. Last chapter. Now, okay. Yes, we have the time limit. Which of the following is not true? Yes. These are the state space properties. One by one, we'll observe. Yes, one by one, we'll observe. In state space model, all initial conditions are taken into consideration. Correct only, correct, correct only. Not true is asking, select not. Correct only, this is a correct only. It is a correct DM, it is a correct. Now, second, in the trans function, initial conditions are taken as zero. Correct only, this is a correct only. Correct statement is asking not correct. Trans function is applicable only for linear time event system. Correct only. Trans function is applicable for LTA system. Now, okay, correct only. State model of the system is unique, no dear. Same state space we can represent in the CCA format, OCA format, DCA format. Same circuit okay, state space is not unique here. State space can be represented in the CCA, controllable format, observable format, different. It is not unique here. Not unique, this is a wrong here. It is a wrong, not correct. It is not unique here, not correct here. But examiner is asking select the not correct answer. So select the option D is perfect answer here. So we'll go to the one more question here. Now, unstuck okay. Is given A matrix and B matrix, is asking unstable, uncontrollable, stability and controllability to DM. So to find the stability, we need to use a characteristic equation here. For stability, we have to use a stability, we have to use a characteristic equation here. Use characteristic equation, that is formula is mod of SI minus A equal to 0. If all roots are, okay, characteristic equation, all roots, if in left, 
left side, then system is becomes so stable here. But one of the root is present in the right side because of the right side present to unstable is correct answer here, unstable. One of the root present in the right side. Now how to find the controllability here? Controllability, we can find the controllability here using the famous formula, Kalman's test controllability, MC equal to here, B comma AB. Find out B, AB. If debt is MC not equal to zero, then it is called as a controllable, 100% controllable. So in this question, debt of MC is not equal to zero, so controllable. But if one of the pole is present in the right side, unstable, unstable but controllable. Option C is perfect, suitable answer here. Yes. Yeah. Yes, this is a state transition matrix, dear. State transition matrix. Now, okay, dear. State transition matrix. So, how to find the state transition matrix? Here, observe. State transition matrix is calculated like this. This is a state transition matrix formula. State transition matrix equal to, equal to, okay, now e power at equal to, data of si minus a equal to, okay. Now, okay, formula, dear. Yes. Now, uh, we have to use the state transition matrix, dear. State transition matrix formula. Okay, state transition matrix formula, dear. Let us just wait. This is a uh, state transition matrix, dear. If you use the e power at equal to, the formula is, now I am writing the formula. Yes, L inverse of si minus a inverse, dear. This is a, okay, formula. Si minus a inverse. This is a formula, dear. Yes, that formula, but that much of risk is not required here. When the diagonal matrix is present to state transition matrix equal to e to the power of 2t, e to the power of 2t, dear. Simple technique here. This is a regular method, this is a regular method, but simple technique here. So what is the best suitable answer here? Best suitable answer is option B is perfect answer here. Yes. Now this is about the control system revision course. Now some suggestions here, I'll close within two minutes. Now, okay, your exam is approximately uh, 45 days is there. So during uh, 45 days, you know already preparation, minimum 10 to 14 hours is required here. Just to okay, few suggestions only. So dear, here, now to get the good score, to get the job, try to avoid using social media, dear. First of all, 45 days, your entire life, next to 45 years, depends upon the, this 45 days. Wow, what a equation is. Next to 45 years, depends upon this 45 days. So try to use, I'm not telling that completely avoid, Use this social media only for knowledge sharing, dear. For everything normal, okay, no. So only for knowledge sharing, I'm not using the word completely avoid. Okay, for knowledge sharing, try to avoid Facebook, only use the WhatsApp or only for knowledge sharing for material point of view. So simple equation, 45 days, 45 years. Okay, fine. And one more thing there, yes. This is the best motivation quotation. This 45 days, as compared to other your friends, all your friends are working X hours, means you have to work delta X hours. Study while others are sleeping. Wow. To get the job. Next to 45 hours, you have to enjoy. Means, okay. Now, study, work while others are loafing. Yes, dear. Prepare while others are playing. And uh, dream while others are wishing, dear. Yes, these 45 days, you have to, okay, in conclusion, okay, well, follow this one. Next, dear, mode of class is in ACE Academy. Yes, you know, this is a classroom coaching. In the classroom, we'll teach. And also, online live session live classes, we have the recorded, pre-recorded videos, okay. Next to postal coaching here. Postal coaching means material dear. Yes, these are the materials here. We will provide like material, postal coachings. Yes, fine. These are about the postal coachings dear. Next to dear, yeah, about myself, if you have any doubts, you know, uh, mail ID dear, this is gnani412 at the rate of gmail.com. No, no, sir, I want more videos, sir. Previously, already uh, done YouTube session. You can search in the YouTube, Gnaneshu sir, control system. These are the, by searching, you can get the more number of videos about the control system. Yes, dear, finally, uh, there is a blessing from my side. There is a blessing from my side. So, all my students are, okay, will write the, your exam well and will get secure the job. So, don't stop when you're tired. When you're tired, stop when you're done, dear, okay? Don't stop when you're done. Now, when you're tired and stop when you're done, dear. So, all the best. <laughs>